So, Crystal Hall. Cheryl Hall. Cheryl Hall. <laughs> my goodness, what's going on in my head? There's just no queen like a vegan queen. Well, hello there, I'm Gemini. And I'm Maya Zma. What's your first name? Creeping. Thanks, darling. Yeah. <laughs> and together we are... The, the Vegan, vegan queens. queens! I'm her mother. I know I don't look old enough. You don't have to tell me. I get it all the time. How excited were we this week? So blinking excited. How wonderful is it to at last see USA Mama Roo mm -hmm. popping over here to the UK and doing a show? I was a bit worried. I thought, would the, will the format be the same? Yeah, yeah. Will we like all the queens? Mm hmm. Are they going to embrace British drag in the same way? You yeah. Know? And it was pure British from beginning to end. Pride of Britain. Yeah. Pride of Britain. It was absolutely fabulous. I was so it. proud of every single one of you girls. Yeah. For giving your audition tapes in on time yeah. and getting that show done. Yeah. It was marvellous. Right, so first girl. Episode one, we were introduced to the whirlwind that is... Ha! <laughs> bag of chips. chips. Now, I pre prejudged bagger. I said, didn't I? In, in your intro video. Yeah, yeah, in the intro video. I said I was a bit upset. Um, but that's because I am a bleeding heart liberal. And so I'm not particularly keen on folk who openly and happily support the Tories. Because mm -hmm. I think they've done incredible damage to this country. And those were the rumours... Rumours, we about, would like to stress. About yeah. Bagger, but we thought, right, you can't go in no. like this. Yep. You've got to go in with a clean slate, so let's just judge them on the queens they are. So Bagger walks in in this lovely outfit. This little Pat Butcher ensemble. Yeah, it's like, it's a little bit 80s mm -hmm. because of the shoulder padding and, yeah. and the kind of uh, sequence and the glitz. Um, but it's also a little bit Bridget Nielsen. Yes, now you've said it now, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And especially with the short hair. But she came in like a true northern lass. She did. And laid it out on the table what she liked. Somewhat ironically, because she's from Birmingham, but yeah. I know. But she had that northern spirit, I know exactly what you mean. Didn't she, she though? Like, I was like, oh yeah, we'd, we'd do that. I, uh, I, think it's fr I think it's Midlands up. Yeah, let's say for the north, fr Midlands upwards. Yeah. Yeah. Who were next? Uh, next in was Blue Hydrangea. Hmm. Now then, what do we think of this outfit? Let me let me remind you. I liked this, and I'm I'm going to say this, and it's not personal. It's drag. Um, from a distance, I appreciate this. From a distance. Do, do. The because dress was blue and white. It's a, it's a new delusion, isn't it? You know, and I and you. Is it we, is it meant to be a new delusion? Well, because I don't know, actually, maybe because the nude bits would be the bits you don't want nude. Well, and, you and, unless you're working in Vegas in a particular bar. Or, you know, down Tib Street. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I didn't like this outfit uh, at okay. all. It reminded me of the floral explosion, which Pua Vanji had to walk out with. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not a big lover of flowers stuck to things. However, her makeup were fierce and the wig were gorgeous. Wig's gorgeous. So, nice colour palette, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So and I'm happy with cute. that. And she's a cutie. Next in we had Davina. Oh, now then. Davina De Campo. Absolutely love Davina and I love what she said when she came in. Yeah. DDC on the BBC. Yeah, love that. She's prepared that in advance. I would have as well. Of course she has. Uh, and I love the outfit, strangely, because mm. she looks like a Victorian whore. Y yeah. Um, it's very... I'm in a sound. Uh, it's very Vivian Westwood, actually. It's my pussy knocking things over. It often does. Very Vivian Westwood. Um, and Vivian mm -hmm. often has that kind of yeah Victorian yeah sex worker yeah 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 should we say yeah well whore is a nice word it's not wrong with it, it? yeah okay yeah some people like it uh, I loved it though mm -hmm. I loved it great look and uh, I don't think she's one that is when she does 
her act to yeah. Dina. It's always this wig, isn't it, with the red ends? Um, she does I'm... change it up a little bit, but yeah, she has a style she goes back to yes. with wigs. But it suits her though. It does. It's I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and she's very good live, I will just say. Yeah, we loved um, her. Yeah. Loved her. Next up was Cheryl Hall. Now, I didn't think I was going to like Cheryl, and within five minutes... You change your mind. Yeah. 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 This I is really very like, clever. I love that wig. Yeah, it's nice in it. That little. And as as I said to you after we'd watched it, and we had a little chat. That's giving me Taylor Dane. Uh, she, Taylor Dane there and later on. Yeah, in a yeah, yeah. Posh. Maybe she just looks a bit like Taylor Dane. Maybe she does, and if so, work it. She absolutely Taylor Make Dane's got money. Us. One day in your life. One oh. day. Sure a Loved it. Loved it. Next, I think we had Crystal was up next. Um, Crystal from East London, originally Canadian. You hated this, didn't you? I... Okay, yeah, right. Like, I'll own my opinions. Yeah, I really don't like it. I'm, I'm not keen myself. At all. I, but I, I respect that that's her thing and she does push the envelope. It is very East London and I get what she was going for, but I don't like it. Yeah, and her makeup's massive. Isn't it? Yeah, we're both quite, you know, restrained, aren't we? So bit of lip balm, bit, bit of, of lip balm, bit of, bit of lippy. It's it's extreme. I like the makeup, but I don't like this outfit. Sorry. No, I'm not. But hey, that's fine. No, some, just in case she watches it. But some well, she might watch us and think, look at what you two are wearing. That's and true. you have every right to say that, darling. Of course, you would love to you. That's how you feeling? Cool. Um, we have something Wong next, I believe. Where is she? There, She's she there, is. love. Something wrong. She's come to take away the crown. Her joke, not mine. Uh, I, I, I loved this. Yeah, same. Look, uh, but I, I, again, flowers stuck on things, mm. and so I wasn't keen on the cape. Oh, the little cape. But the thing. dress mm. and the shoe and the hair yeah. and the face, be loved it. Yeah, she's god. She came in all guns blazing, and, and she's right funny. She is very she's funny. funny. She's a funny lass. Yeah. Welcome something. Yeah. Um, gothy? Was it? Was it gothy? Well, it doesn't matter in what order. Nah, forget it. Was it? It's Whatever. like... Gothy Kendall, gothy <sighs> Kendall. Bless her. Bless her. Yeah. I liked, I did, I quite liked the outfit. I do actually, I think um, it's cool. I like that it's a kind of shell suit. Mm-hmm. You know, a, gl yeah. a glittery shell suit, but it, yeah, it's kind of shell suit like. And uh, the makeup was fierce. Gorgeous, yeah. The wig was great. Yeah. She did say herself, mm -hmm. I'm a look queen. She did, yes. She did. Now, of all the respect in the world for you look queens out there, uh, especially on Instagram. Thanks, love. When you're showing us all your different looks and everything. Yeah. But being a look queen doth not make us a drag queen. Okay. Look queens are amazing at looks. She's a makeup artist and she's a look queen. But as became evident later in the episode, mm -hmm. it's she's you've got to transfer that skill into something tangible that you can do yeah. as well. And you've not got to be afraid to be in character. No. You know. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when she first came in, adorable. She was proper Absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Yeah. Lovely, lovely uh, boy and girl. Uh, that's gothy. Uh, vinegar. Favourite entrance here. I loved this entrance. That cat slater line. <laughs> Am I allowed to say it on your video? Oh god, yeah, that worked. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know the classic bit where Cat Slater's in the convent, so Vinegar comes in and does... I didn't just become a little bit of a slag. I became a total slag. Lived. I mind you, then. Did you? I did. Oh, hey, <laughs> thanks. I mind you. Uh, yeah, I liked her. I liked yeah, her a lot. I love the suit. Um, she got a bit of jib for that wig. Now, I'm not hating it. I thought it was fine, I don't know what everyone was on about. It's late 80s, early 90s. Mm. That's a fact that mm -hmm. there's no getting away from. Hey, but there's nothing wrong with that. No. She says sat here with a bunch on top of red or multicoloured. It is nice. And though. a pantsuit. It's pretty. I'm just saying. No, oh, yeah. I own yeah. all the decades I love. Yeah, fabulous. You know? Why not? Love her. Lovely, lovely vinegar. Uh, scary cat. Now then. 
Oh, I think this might be. No. Oh it's dear. Not, no, you... this is not that. This is Roger. Ah. Second one down. Yes. Yes. Um. Scary Cat, youngest contestant on Drag Race ever, I believe. She's 19. 19, done drag for 11 months, mm -hmm. in a bedroom, never performed in her life mm -hmm. anywhere, never been to see a drag show. Question still remains, and I'm not being horrible, I think I'm being quite fair. Why is she on the first of a world famous TV show when she's done 11 months in a bedroom and never performed on stage before? However, she's been massively gifted this opportunity mm -hmm. from RuPaul. Yeah. Apparently he's the one who decides who goes on. Yeah. And she is proving herself to be something of a natural performer. Yeah. That, I think when that, it comes yeah. to characters and, mm -hmm. and stuff. I, I, I'm interested to see how wide um, that is. That repertoire, yeah. Does she just do little twee can she, is that all she can do? Mm -hmm. Or it, will we see more from her? Mm -hmm. And I am also going to be honest and say, when I first saw this picture here, the first thing, does anybody watch um, American Dad? It's Family Guy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, is it Family Guy or American Dad? American Dad. Is it? Okay. American Dad, isn't it? Yeah, American Dad. Roger, the alien, in drag. That's what I got. It's what I got. Show a picture no. of Roger. Put a picture of Roger up. Mm. I will say that the nose and the, the, the weight of the contour is a choice. That's what makes her look like Roger. Yeah. Or only that. I'm not saying she looks like an alien. I'm not being horrible. No, no, no. That contour mm -hmm. is horrible. It To me, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. It's not drag. It's some kind of... It looks like a death mask, which is what Roger looks like when he's in drag. <laughs> looks like bones. But you know what, I'm if that's keen. what you were going for, girl, cool, great. Uh, and yeah, don't, uh, don't squander this uh, opportunity because there are thousands mm -hmm. that would have given so much for it. Mm -hmm. And I, I know, I, and I, when I said before, you might think I'm cruel, I've read it all over the internet. There's so many people saying the same thing. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, so uh, we're just bringing that question out, aren't we, and saying, you know, what, what, what's the tea? Prove to us why. Yeah, cool. And last, but by no means least, the Vivian. Where is she, have it? Uh, just stepping up from the bottom there. Now. Come on now. <laughs> uh, again, I'm getting Bridget Nielsen. Anytime, anyway, one wears short or high, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. get Bridget Nielsen, but I'm also getting major 80s. I love this so much. It's a power outfit. It's got, she looks like a really powerful quality street. Yes. You know, strawberry cream. Absolutely. And she, I, she got absolutely gorgeous. I loved this outfit. Yeah. So much. Amazing. It's beautiful. Right, We've so that's... We've everyone there, haven't we? Let's just make sure. I don't want to be leaving <coughs> anyone out. Crystal, gothy. Yeah, done everyone. Fine. Yeah. Uh, the mini challenge. Um, we'll just we'll just go through these pictures in super quickly. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go through them alphabetically. Though this is not the order that they uh, appeared in. Yeah. So there's our uh, bag of chips. So so if you didn't, the photo shoot was body shot, head shot on a green screen, and then it was as if they'd had their head chopped off and they yeah. had the last words. Because they had one of those green dog collars on. Mm. So it was just the body and then just the head through a green sheet. So, and there you go. We get a uh, bag of chips all, holding her own head there. Shut your gob, there's a draft. We've got uh, the lovely blue hydrangea kicking herself. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Cheryl Hall <laughs> was holding her own uh, hair. Yeah, the ponytail <laughs> all starts to make sense. <laughs> blue. No, that's Crystal. Um, oh, sorry. Um, of course it is. Ple uh, attempting to pleasure herself orally, shall we say? Yes, it was quite funny. It was, it was cute, I liked she it. She had a little funny line. Davina. There's the lovely Davina. Love her so much. Just, she came up with a cracking comment about her weight. She said, E, is that how big I am from down here? 
you need to lay off the carbonara. Oh, it was funny. It was right they funny. were more swearing when she said it. But yeah, not being demonetised. <laughs> Goth Gothies. Gothic Kendall. Um, she seemed nervous. Yeah. If you've seen the episode, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Scaredy cat defecating herself. Yep. Some ting. <laughs> what? About to breastfeed herself. Yeah. And why not? Why not? If you could, you know you would. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vinegar tits. On her hands and knees. With her own head on her back. Fabulous. Love that. Vivian. Now the Vivian did the most <laughs> brilliant impression of Kim Woodburn in this <laughs> uh, in, in this uh, little challenge. Oh, it had me in talks. I had to her? keep watching it. And she good Watch it. She's brilliant at Kim Woodburn. She's so good. The best I bit like her she... anyway. She's a yeah. proper warm to her. The best bit was when she was explaining to Rue who Kim Woodburn was. Just a cleaner. She's a cleaner off the telly. She got famous. <laughs> 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 it's true, but love. Yeah. So, um, Scaredy Cat won that, um, uh, first challenge. I didn't agree with that. Uh, no, neither did I. I, mean, I don't really know why, but there we go. Um, and that's now, not a diss. I'm, I just don't understand why she won. No, I don't. No. We'll just whiz through the, um, the hometown look. So yeah. the challenge was mm -hmm. to do... Uh, two kind of iconic looks, one representing your hometown mm -hmm. and one uh, choosing a look of Queen Elizabeth over the years. So these were all the hometown looks. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Bagger there as the um, inimitable yeah. Amy Winehouse. So, yeah, Camden But she did a cracking little parody. It's great. And I, I agreed with what Andrew Garfield said as well. It's like some people might find that disrespectful, but actually, that I think as British people, with our humour, that is how we honour people. Absolutely. By poking fun at them lovingly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have great. a problem with it. This is drag. Let's not forget this is drag. Yeah. This is not, yeah. Uh, blue. Blue as the... Blue um, hydrangea with Two cranes in Ireland that helped to build... Belfast, yeah. The... Titanic. Yes, and she said her dad and her granddad worked, worked them, there, which I think is a lovely story. Yeah, it and is. a beautiful frock, a gorgeous frock. Yeah, it's very, um, very Spanish that yeah. whole look, isn't it? Cheryl Hall, Queen of Essex. She literally had a patchy spray tan. Saw her in dressing room spray it on. She had all blotches of spray tan on a gorgeous white dress. White dress. She? She, a bit of she blue bit, roll. She had a bit of blue roll stuck to her heel. And Butch came walking in like a deep up. Yes. Did like, yeah. didn't she? Proper. In character from the start. That brilliant. look was brilliant. It was great. Yeah, loved, loved it. it. Crystal. Yeah, Crystal, uh, I thought, as I said to you, um, Creeping, I love the wig and the dress. I don't, I, I don't like the three day bender thing. And I don't understand its relevance. Um, so uh, Crystal's East London based and I think, you know, East London has a, East London drag scene has a reputation for being sort of crazy, so maybe the idea is, you know, we go out on a Thursday and drag and we're still in it on Sunday. Okay. Maybe. But, um, All right. I, I agree though, but I do like the frock. I love the ball gown. Yeah, it's great. I love, I love turquoise. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Divina, I love this. This is God. I do I love, love a sculpted or a paper or a cardboard wig. Yes. These big sculpted pieces. Gorgeous. Um, that, um, what she called, was very uh, used quite a lot in, was it the last season of uh, Drag Race? Eureka. Yes. Eureka had quite a few of them. I think she had a few of those, yeah. Didn't she? Uh, but I love this. I love the. I love the. I love the dress. It's whimsical. I love the placement of the wind instruments. I love the hair. I do. She looks like you know what's its face. I can't remember her name. You know, I'm Wallace and Gromit. Wallace's girlfriend. Yes. Hello, Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Love Fabulous. it. Fabulous. Drags meant to be fun. Everyone should remember that. Uh, this is uh, uh, Gothic yeah. Kendall. Gothic Kendall. Yeah. 
Uh, again, I like the wig, but it's basically the same black wig with a different piece on top of it instead of the three. Oh, okay, I didn't clock that. The actually. Chic, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Came in with. Now, that's a good idea. It means that she's got a black base wig mm. that she's got detachables for. That's really that's smart. Fun. It's very, very it's smart. smart. Very smart. Clever girl. Yeah. Goffy, very clever girl. Um, I loved the look. The look is gorgeous. Like the paint job. Look at that paint job. That's it's beautiful. Great. And the outfit was nice. This is why I said she's a makeup artist and she's a fierce makeup artist. Very a good. really good makeup artist. Loved uh, loved the look though, but I do like a simple black. Yeah, nice black simple silhouette. Yeah. yeah. Er. That's scared car. Yeah, now uh, credit where credit's due. I liked this outfit. I thought, yeah, it's fun. I thought the shoe was inspired. The shoe mm -hmm. was kind of all twigs and yeah, and yeah, 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 stuck yeah. together. Absolutely fabulous. And it was a very uh, autumnal nature mm -hmm. goddess kind of yeah, outfit. Yeah, sort of nymphs where, frolicking. Where and, she's yeah. from is very country, yeah. Yeah. isn't it? So it made a lot of sense and it was, yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Something Team one, I adored this. I, I adored, adored this, this as well. I, get, I gasped, I give a little gasp when she came out in this. I do love, um, I do love a big horn or anything big head piecey yeah wise uh, i love that she's got a chest plate yeah i love the dress i love that it's low cut slits. and got two slits in yeah. for the legs yeah it was just a cool outfit mm -hmm. really yeah, cool um we might have to come back to that one vinegar now, uh, bless this me. was the outfit vinegar did her runway in and if you i think if you take off the the terrible Thames cardboard cutout thing that's stuck on the front of it. Yeah. Now there's a reason I'm saying this. Bear with us. It's quite a nice outfit. I love that. I love it as a pantsuit. I think but it's gorgeous. I didn't understand why. What, 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 the only thing that seemed to represent where she was from mm. was the blue stripe. Yeah, the Thames, wasn't which it? Which is yeah. basically from EastEnders. Then it comes out. She had a whole other outfit planned. Mm-hmm. And this was the outfit she would have worn mm -hmm. had she not been stopped so she's now that out. is fabulous to me that's brilliant that's so clever it's and it's it's actually really yeah well done yeah but this is the bbc and have you noticed there's no prizes mm -hmm. you know like there's no weekend to sitches mm -hmm. from from Bob and Patrick's Gay Travel. I want to meet them. <laughs> There's no yes yeah. supply of eyeliner from Kat Von D. There's no fitted dress. Mm. Because it would all be classed as advertising and this is the BBC. Mm -hmm. So they can't even have prize money either, can they love? No. At the end, um, which is it's a bit, oh, I get it, I get it with the rulings, but it's a bit of a smack in the face when you know that the American versions, they're getting a hundred thousand dollars. You know. Uh, anyway, so that's what she would have worn. So I feel like, I get, I get it now why it was a rush job. She just stuck the Thames on her dress. Exactly. She, there wasn't much else that she could have done really and I felt bad for her I did. about that. I feel bad for them all now Now I'm aware mm -hmm. that because this is on the BBC there's all this no prizes. Mm -hmm. Will you Can we let her in? I will. It's me pussy. Come on love. She wants to come in. She will come in now. Just leave the door slightly ajar. I'll leave the door slightly ajar. There you go. She's a funny old man. Oh dear. Oh there she is. Go on. I'll shut it now because there's a draft. <laughs> right, on to the Vivian. Now, what you can't see in this picture is that this was a, a, a jumpsuit and Vivian wore a flat boot. Yeah. Uh, what she did was basically dressed as Pete Burns Brilliant. and it was fabulous. Amazing. And she kept coming in doing, doing the, the little dance he always did in all yeah, these music yes. videos. Um, yeah, um, Pete famously wore when he was performing the Vivian Westwood pirate boots, like they were his trademark. So that's what she had on, and she got ripped for it. Yeah, later on. Now, Rue and Michelle, we love you. You're fabulous, mm. but get over yourselves with the whole heels thing. Yeah, 
right. It's got nothing to do you don't, with you, it. You're starting to sound a little bit like, what's she called? Oh. Alyssa. No, not Alyssa. I like Alyssa. Oh. If you're not oh, well, wearing uh, nails, Alaska. you're Alaska. not doing drag. I can't be doing... Don't. No. No, no, no. D stop no. trying to police Drag things. is drag, and yeah. yes... It's a performance. Drag is a performance, mm -hmm. which is why I've got a gripe with people who've never performed, because you haven't done drag. Mm -hmm. You've done costume airing, yeah, and and, and uh... yeah, and makeup. And that's yeah. fabulous. But get off the whole heels thing. <sighs> Both of Vivian's looks, yeah, wore flats. Mm -hmm. They but needed to. They had to. They had to. As you'll see when we get to the second looks. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. for those uh, first looks. Yeah, the second looks where the representations of the Queen yeah. throughout the ages. Yeah. Shall we just kind of do them alphabetically? Yeah, again, just like go through them alphabetically. So, we've got... Oh, this is, this is gonna now be then, when, when I... When I saw this, I was like, hey, hang on now. Come on now. That bag of chips there on your right. Yes. And of course our lovely Queen. <laughs> on the left but as soon as I saw Bagger in this outfit <laughs> I said I says it's Muriel's mother has a Muriel's wedding Luke Luke Muriel's mother <laughs> bag of chips Mrs Heslop you know what I mean yeah are we wrong <laughs> Great outfit. Yeah, I love it. Love this. Very representative of the Queen. Performance was good as well. I know Michelle said in the judging, oh, you played her as if she was in her 70s. I liked it. Yeah. She's like... Yeah. Yeah. Blue Hydrangea came Come out on. with this coin headpiece yeah. that from the side looked like that, like you can see on your screen now, but from the front was just a, you know, a thin... Like a flatty. But the bodice, covered in pennies. Yeah, love this. Imagine how heavy it was. She's suffered to wear that. She's suffered for her art. But the, the, and the ball gown part, the big beautiful, beautiful. brown chiffon. Beautiful. Mm. What a fabulous look. What fabulous. clever as well. Very clever. Um, again, I'll say it again, drag is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cheryl Hall went for the nice kind of, the pink queen. Yeah. You queen. know, when our lady just wears pink and white. And she did all right on the outfit, but I do have to agree with yeah. Michelle and Rue on this. She made a mistake. She never had a handbag. When does the Queen not have a handbag? Never. Never. She always has an handbag. And you could tell because she didn't know what to do with her hands. Yeah, she sort of had one here as if she would have had it slung over her. Yeah, her yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the all. That was all. The only thing I thought about that outfit was should have had a bag. Mm. Otherwise, yeah. I, I quite liked it, even though the jacket and the hat are a much darker shade than the dress. Yes, and I have a soft spot for the hat because I've got it in black, it was on four quid. Now I liked this look of Christmas. Yeah, I think it's cool. I mean, it was very sex shop. Hmm. Do you know those outfits you can do all well, No, I don't know. I'm sure you can get stuff like that in like <laughs> and summers and no, stuff. Now I'm playing, I'm playing, I do know what you mean. Um, but again, I, do you know who she reminds me of there? Mm. Um, Liza Minnelli, it's the eyes. Yeah, actually now you've said that. Liza Minnelli yeah. dressed as the queen. Oh, yeah. Do you love me now, Mama? Do you love me now? I'm impersonating Liz. Loved it. Yeah, it's great. She, tight pant, tight jacket. Lots of attention to detail. Nice heel. Divina, Divina De Campo went for the, the regal look, the gown and the sash and the and the, the hat and the beauty. The, the, I loved that wig. Yeah, she looks very, she looks regal, doesn't she? She it? does, she looks fabulous. She looks it's lovely. A, it's a great outfit. Yeah, great. I agree. She did great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind this on. Oh, no. I like it actually. I think Gothic it's simple but lovely. Yeah, and and it did remind me of the Queen, mm -hmm. except she one is in that shirt. No, in her day. No, but that was the only kind of difference, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I, I did like it. Uh, Skirty Cat did Baby Queen, literal Baby Queen, which actually, to be fair, knowing how young she is, that was clever of her to yeah. choose to do that. Yeah. That being said, um, I don't love it. No. I have to be honest. No, nor do I. Um, however, you know, fair play for having each, a go at that. Each to their yeah. own. I nearly died when I saw this. Oh, it's brilliant. 
something wrong as a stamp. Oh, and she. So she's got this big head box on with the first hanging there, as you can see. Just, just fabulous. Turns her head sideways. Yeah, walks. Walks that way. Like a crab. <laughs> walks to the front and turns her head that way. Walks up. I live. I was... live. A nice paint job as well, because, like, from the side, yeah, I see it. I'd know instantly what that was. I think I thought it was great. Yeah, it was, it was an inspired look. Um, and that licked me on the back of the box. It was so funny. Oh, when you were stamped, what'd you do? Lick things. Lick them, don't you? Uh, vinegar. Vinegar went for this kind of 70s, the queen in the 70s mm. when she was wearing a yellow and a polka dots. Now she went for a different uh, interpretation of it because she wore a caftan. Yes. Uh, and the fabric was far more metallic and drag queeny. Yes. So I'm glad that she drag queened it up. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't mind this at all. I think no. it's cute. Yeah, it's alright. Cute as a button. <laughs> this is the Vivian again in her flats that she got told off for. What a brilliant country version of the Queen. The country Queen. What's these things she's got hanging ducks. for her? <laughs> I picked up some ducks en route at Balmoral. <laughs> it's the first... You've got... For me, I, the Vivian uh, did no wrong this episode. No, no, yeah. She was hilarious throughout and turned the look. And that's her real nose. I know. Michelle was convinced she was wearing a prosthesis. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, you've made the effort here, but even prosthesis. And the Vivian was like, um, actually, that's my nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is her nose, because I've seen her live in Liverpool, and it absolutely is her original nose. So, yeah. So, spoiler alert. Major spoiler alert. If you don't want to know what ha happened in episode one, because you've not seen it yet, Switch off now. We'll give you a sec. That's all. Wait, I'm just. I just heard door shut. Right, he's gone. Right, whoever he was, or she, or they. There. I'm not. I'm not assuming nothing. Um. So, the final three mm -hmm. were Cheryl Cole. Oh. Cheryl Hall. <laughs> yes. Oh. I'm showing them the nation's sweet art. Gorgeous Sorry. baby woman. <laughs> You're talking about me. Sorry. <laughs> um, it was that comedian called. Uh, Catherine Ryan. Oh, she's so good. She's great. Um, so, Crystal Hall. Cheryl Hall. Cheryl Hall. <laughs> my goodness, what's going on in my head? Cheryl Hall. Vinegar tits. Vinegar strokes. Vinegar strokes. And <laughs> gothic. <laughs> gothic cats <laughs> on Gothic Kendo, they were final three. The, the bottom three, The bottom sorry. three, yeah. yeah. So guess which one got saved, like, out of them two, out of them three? Cheryl Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cheryl Sweetheart. So Vinegar and Gothic mm -hmm. at do a lip sync. Mm -hmm. Now this is where I'll refer back to what, to what I was saying before. Gothy herself said directly to camera, I'm a look queen. Mm -hmm. And when it came to the performance, she proved it. Yeah. No, you're right. She um, she gave it a, she gave it a go, which you know ugh, that sounds really condescending. She feel, mean it that. looks like she feels embarrassed to be feminine with yeah. her body. She's very male. Yeah, still. it's it's She's not. Still it's not drop. I tried to describe it to you, didn't I? It's not dropped in yet. No, she st you she know? seems very staccato. Good word. Um. And she didn't really perform very well, and she didn't know some of the words. However, she won me heart. Yeah, I at, thought she was adorable. At the end, as well. Yeah. Because she tried to do a Miss Banshee. <laughs> she walked out saying, Got the Kendall. Got the Kendall. Yeah. She only said it twice, and then she gave up. She just said it three times. And that's what I mean. She didn't even have the confidence to say it a third time. Good point. I didn't really made that connection. No, but she got yeah. to two and, and was like, right, that's enough. She's she's very introverted. And sweetheart, you look beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. She's in there. Let her out. Yeah. Because trust me, when she comes out, oh, you won't be able to put her back. No. You've no chance, like fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for owning that on your own and not including me in it. Oh, she's horrible. If I could put her back, I would. 
Do you know what? If I'd have said her, if I'd have said us both then, she'd have been, why are you having a go at me? Read yourself first. I can't win. Um, ever since I stepped a big toe out. Do you know what I mean? It's been the same since the boat that I raw. Anyway, the Vivian won the challenge. We forgot to say that earlier. She won. Yeah, she did win the challenge. And rightly so. Yeah, absolutely. Tell them a lovely, special, gorgeous daughter I adore. Aww. Tell them what she won. She won a Rue Peter badge. A, a what? A Rue Peter badge. Oh, what might that be? It, you remember Blue Peter? You got a Blue Peter badge if you yeah. said an old milk bottle top. Oh, they were highly revered in the 80s. They were indeed, um, for old bits of tin. Um, it's that, but a RuPaul version. And it, herein lies the problem with the BBC mm -hmm. running the show. Mm -hmm. Because there's no prizes, as we just pointed out earlier. Mm -hmm. So there's no weekends away, there's no wigs, there's no fitted dresses, there's no, you know, $5,000. What was? Um, and, but is it going to be a repeat of badge every week? Yeah, I don't want that every week. That's naff. First week it's camp. It's funny. The end prize is. I still don't understand why there can't be any prize money. Isn't it because the people that? But isn't it because uh, the people that don't, would donate it would be corporations, wouldn't they? That's how they work it in America, don't yeah. they? It doesn't come from the show's proceeds. Mm -hmm. No, it's from corporate sponsorship. Oh, what a shame! That's a shame. So the winner of the series, though, will get their own series produced by World of Wonder Productions on YouTube. Now they have a big reach. They do. They've got a fabulous uh, tech team behind mm -hmm. them. So somebody will get beautifully edited. Mm -hmm. and and a, a great show put out there mm -hmm. and it might kind of launch the digital side of their otherwise only on stage career which you know that's great yeah that's but it's nice. a real shame about the prizes it's it kicking. really is because those prizes were nice things well they were a bit of a sort of comeback as well weren't they in a way because like for all the outfits that we've had to prepare for this that's going to have cost a fortune. Ow, girl. So you're out of pocket before you've even started. Do you know what I mean? And then you get a YouTube series, which is great, but you know, it's... Then YouTube you've got to buy series. more outfits for your YouTube series. Exactly. And a YouTube series don't pay your bills, does it? Well. But it might. Do they get paid? I wonder by World of Productions. Uh, there you go. You could be an artist then, couldn't you? On so that it's episode, like it's, it's working towards a paid job. A regular paid job. Okay, fair. And who doesn't want that these days? Well, exactly. Check our 2020 diary. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, that we, we love it. Loved it. We love it. We can't wait to watch it again next week and share next week's rundown with you all. Um, but it's been, it's been a joy to watch. It's just those little niggles. Niggly bits. Teasing <laughs> troubles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get past that. So, uh, thank you so much for watching our lovely review show. Uh, anything to say, Maz? No, just excited for the next episode. I'm excited for the next and episode as well. And talk about it with you. Yeah. So, we'll be back. We'll see you then. We've got a recipe video or five on this channel. Check them out. Propaganda. Oh, we cook nice stuff for us. Hey, be lovely to yourselves, won't you? And be lovely to each other. We'll see you soon.